Hi, this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough video of the Cyclopean Foundations. And we are uh, nearly up to the fifth scenario across dreadful waters uh, with Daryl Simmons. And uh, uh, before we get into the scenario, let's check what upgrades I did to the deck with the 3 XP I got from the last scenario. So let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and not many changes to the deck. I only had 3 experience from the last scenario, so I ended up ditching the fine clothes and replacing them with leather coats level, uh, level 1. So they cost zero and so for health and if they get uh, dif uh, uh, dif <laughs> discarded they will get exiled. So the other change I did to the deck was to remove one burning the midnight oil. I haven't been struggling with uh, resources that much. So instead of that I put one more gumption into the deck. So gumption really keys off from Daryl's ability so we can uh, drop our difficulty to zero to uh, utilize stuff better within the deck so not more changes to the deck this time hopefully we get uh, a bunch more experience so I can upgrade it further once we get past this scenario but First off, let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and before we uh, get into the scenario and the setup, uh, we still have the interlude, a house divided to uh, read. So again, uh, full story spoilers in this playthrough. So if you are planning on playing this campaign uh, without any spoilers, maybe check back once you have played it over on maybe Tabletop Simulator or getting the cards printed out like I have, but uh, that was the spoiler warning, so let's uh, hop into the story text. So, interlude, a house divided. Interviewing the entire order of Freemasons would be unlikely to give you the results you need, so you narrow your scope to the remaining officers. You escort the three men to one of the temple uh, temple's conference rooms, where they sit more morosely, still contemplating the uh, evening's events. You can tell by the deeply disturbed looks and lack of words that this has been their first exposure to Eldrick Parks. Compounded by the betrayal of their lifelong associates, there will be a time for explanation on your part, but right now you need to tell uh, they need to tell you everything they know about the traitors. In order, read each of the following sections. If Ulysses Hill is not listed under cultist alive or cultist killed, read the Grand Master statement. So let's check. Uh, we have uh, Hector Sutton, Rodney Duval and Ulysses Hill. So Ulysses Hill is a traitor, so we are not reading this part. We are uh, not reading this part either, and uh, not the Rodney Duval, but we read Wallace Thorpe, uh, Glenn Conry, and Paul Kellerman. So let's start with this one. So if Wallace Thorpe is not listed under Cultist Alive or Cultist Killed, read the sen Senior Grand Warden statement. The Senior gr Grand uh, the Senior Grand Warden statement reads. Wallace sits stiffly and grimly, in deep contemplation. I am not a man who concerns himself with human behavior, unless that behavior concerns itself with me. The only unusual behavior that I recall are the questions I was asked about theoretical science and mathematics, bending space and other such nonsense. He sighs in frustration. I am an architect, not some crackpot theorist. And yet they insti insisted, and were highly specific about. Wallace's voice trails off at the end of 
uh, at the end as he returns to thinking, focused on his memories. Then we read uh, Glenn Conroy. So Glenn sits slumped back in his chair, utterly confused. I had nothing to do with these nutcases. Uh, Yeah, I had nothing to do with these nutcases. You've got to be, believe me, I just don't understand how they managed to do all this without using the lodge's funds. I watch every penny that changes hands for our business. And uh, not a single thing has been out of place. Glenn's face scrunches as he thinks back, and he sits up in his chair a little. Well, maybe one thing, they were... Uh, there were the travel expenses I approved yesterday, and it was for those three. And lastly, um, we read Paul Kellerman. So, Paul, uh, Paul wrings his hands idly and bites his lower lip nervously. I can't Im imagine how they managed to coordinate this inside the lodge without my knowing. Nothing ever, nothing even a quarter so large has ever escaped my notice before. They must have organized this somewhere else. It's the only explanation I can accept. But where? He grits his teeth as he thinks, until an idea drops his jaw. Those telephone calls, they have to be connected. Those three even told me to let them handle the calls themselves. That should have been my first indication. Your discussions uh, has certainly chalked their memories. Almost at once the three men all point to a single location, Singapore. This plot will come to a head halfway around the world. Moreover, the other comments from the remaining officers add to the evidence you've gathered since yesterday, giving you some idea of what the cultists planned. The Masonic traitors were Cthulhu, uh, serve Cthulhu, a dreaded dread entity that has existed since before humanity and haunts the dreams of susceptible people as it steers in its screaming death. It once nearly awoke, awoken some years ago, when its island tomb of Rulé rose from beneath the Pacific, but it quickly sank, taking Cthulhu back with it. It seems that the mon monster's devotees are not connected to uh, content to wait the hundreds of thousands of years it would take for the island to rise again. You have seen yourself the spatial warping property that the strange stone holds. The involvement of the architects can only lead you to a single conclusion. They intend to construct something from that stone that will warp space to bring Rulé back to the uh, surface and awaken their master. You announce to the three officers you intend your intentions to pursue the traitors to Singapore, though you leave out the details they likely could cope with. They uh, couldn't cope with. They voice some discontent at you, at you continuing to meddle with Freemason affairs without being initiated, but they have little choice. You have proven yourself capable uh, where they have failed. The officers cannot offer you much uh, direct assistance while, while they attempt to put their house back in order, but they offer you a symbolic token, an icon formerly belonging to one of the traitors, the symbol of the Masonic Order. The Grand Lodge of Philadelphia may not be the only Masonic Lodge you to have been compromised by the cultist, but if the Lodge in Singapore can assist you, this symbol will convince them to help. Uh, we add one tablet token to the chaos bag for the remaining of the campaign, and any one investigator may choose to add Compass of the Grand Lodge to his or her deck, and I have chosen to add it. This card doesn't come towards the investigator's deck size. It can be found in the Grand Compass after set included by this icon. And next we proceed to Across Dreadful Waters. Okay. Not much to go, so bear with me. <laughs> Okay, so, scenario 5, across dreadful waters, Singapore, halfway around the world from Arkham, 
whether the city itself is the focus of the cultist pot or some other place nearby, your course is clear. You return to Arkham immediately and prepare everything you'll need for the long journey before telephoning the harbor in nearby Kingsport. Uh, there are three ships slated to depart tonight. A light steamer headed for the Canary Islands, a passenger ship en route to Europe and a cargo ship bound for Panama. You'll be able to change ships at the each port to gradually make your way to Singapore, but which route will you improve will improve your odds the most? And I have decided we will pick the uh, we may throw them off if we take the least less traveled route. So in your Campbellock record the investigators chose the last predictable route. Remove one notice from the Campbellock. So we removed one notice from the camper log, so we have only 10 notices left, so we don't have to add the countermeasures into our encounter deck. And we didn't take a loan, so we don't have to read the time to collect. Okay, so that is uh, everything, so uh, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are nearly ready to begin. So, uh, because we uh, chose the least susp um, suspicious route, well, because we had uh, multiples of eight notice times two, we had to add two here, but we got to remove one. So we only have one doom on the current agenda, and this is the only agenda, and the doom threshold is seven. Uh, we start at Central Hill. And uh, we uh, next read these two cards of Agenda and Act. So, Agenda 1A, the Reach of Cthulhu. Uh, with the agents of Cthulhu haunting your steps and spread, and spread across the world, it won't be long before they're able to track you down and corner you. If you want to reach Singapore, then you'll have to adapt and act quickly. Warning, if this agenda advances, the scenario will end. Globetrotting. Uh, version 3. Uh, because we choose the route, we have uh, selected uh, different act uh, 1A, 2A, 3A, uh, 4A for this scenario. So, your ship to Panama will depart uh, soon. You just have to get to Kingsport Harbor to board it. Objective at the end of the round, investigator at harbor side may choose to advance. Warning each investigator not at harbor side will be defeated. Okay, so we'll draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. We get research notes, ruined film, which we get to draw a new one. So shed a light. Research notes, occult invocation, leather coat, and a Hawkeye folding camera. So I'm not needing that because we have the camera. I'm keeping the leather coat and occult invocation. I'll keep the shadow light also. So we'll draw one more card, which is the old keyring, which is good. Then we shuffle these back into the draw deck. Okay, so uh, first off, I think we will uh, go to uh, South Shore and next turn go to Harbor Side. So this round I will play both the old keyring and the Hawkeye for the camera. And this is the level 3 version, so it is much much better than the level zero one. So we get um, three keys on it, and those cost three resources together. Last action will head to South Shore. So five shroud, two clues. Okay, and one victory point. So. Let's see. A 
think we can't uh, reduce. So choose and discard card from your hand. Reduce the shroud. So we can reduce it by uh, yeah, we can reduce it to zero and use the shadow lights and uh, okay. Well, we'll see that next round. But that was the first round. No enemies uh, will go to upkeep. So we draw another Hawkeye for camera and get a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom and counter card for this round is yeah yeah uh, revelation attacks yeah yeah to the current agenda Pause. at the end of the round in the investigators must decide choose one add one doom to the current agenda this can cause it to advance each investigator discards the top three cards of his or her deck and draws each week's witness discarded. Test will power 5. This test gets minus 1 difficulty for every 5 cards in your discard pile. If you see discard. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just putting it over here. That's not good, but it is what it is. So uh, we'll do the fast action discard a card to lower the shroud by 2. We'll. Uh, Discard another card. Oh yeah, there should be two clues here. And uh, it is, and the shroud is now one. So, and those are fast actions and no limit uh, how many times you can do that. Okay, so I'm using the lock picks. So it is zero. So I'm paying the... Actually... Yeah, because the difficulty is zero, we don't need to play the Shedder Lights. Uh, because we'll get the both, both of the clues with the lock picks or the old keyring. So we get a skull, and uh, skull is minus x, x is, the, is equal to the current act number, so it's minus one, but we still get both clues. And uh, just Let's go over the icons. So, skull is minus x, x is, the e is equal to the current act number. Uh, Cultist is minus x, x is equal to half the amount of doom in play. And uh, tablet is a minus 2. If this test fails, discard a card from your hand at random. Okay. And we don't have any elder, elder sign tokens. And I, I think I forgot to add. Yeah, I, I forgot to add the tablet. But I'm adding it now. Okay. That was the first action. Second action will go to harbor side. One shroud, zero clues. Action choose and shuffle a non weakness card from your hand into your deck. Draw two cards. Uh, when can we advance at the end of the round? So I'm actually. I should still have this in my hand. So I'm actually doing the action. To do we shuffle it so uh, yeah we shuffle it now oh yeah yeah uh, we should have one uh, secret here and we got evidence so we get this. Onto the Daryl's Kodak. Yeah, which we forgot to do. And also we got uh, one token, uh, one uh, clue on, or one evidence onto the Hawkeye folding camera. Which we forgot to do also. And uh, we used the lockpick, so we lost one lockpick. Okay, so we draw two cards. Gumption and burning the midnight oil. I think that's a good trade. Okay. So that is the end of the round. Let's see. So each investigator discards the top three cards of his or her deck and draws its weakness. 
we discard White Cliff's Ring, Warped Idol, and Ruin Film, which we have to draw. That sucks, but it is what it is, but at least it's uh, not in our deck anymore. So, remove 4 evidence. So, we remove 2 and take 2 horror. Not, can't avoid that, but that was not that bad. Uh, then we will draw a card. We would have drawn the card. Uh, oh, yeah, I think that's okay. So actually, we would have drawn the White Cliffs Ring. Yeah, and at the end of the round, this should have been discarded with the Warped Idol and Ruined Film. So that's the correct order. Okay, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Uh, we will advance at the end of the round. Kingsport Colon. Cargo ships don't often carry passengers, but you offer the captain more than enough to cover your fare to Panama and he grants you a spot in the cruise hammocks. It's hardly first class, but you hope you, your enemies aren't counting on it. Each investigator loses all of their clues. Remove all doom from the current agenda. Okay. And we lose our clues. For each enemy in play, you must choose one that enemy stays in play. Move that enemy to harbor side if it's not already at harbor side. Discard that enemy and place one doom in the current agenda. We don't have any enemies in play, thankfully. Uh, each investigator at Kingsport location is de defeated and takes one physical or mental trauma. Your choice move each Kingsport location with no clues on it and uh, to the victory display. And victory axe to the victory display, remove each of other king's part location from the game. Uh, put each uh, of the set aside colon locations in play. Uh, put the set aside ambush in the canal story card in the play next to that act deck. And I'll do that between turn, uh, turns. The colon problem. Place it journey across the Caribbean does not sell your worries one bit, but it does leave you Raised for the trouble you find waiting for the objective at the end of the run. If you have solved a colon, the colon problem, investigators at harbor side may choose to advance. Warning each investigator at, not at harbor side will be defeated. Okay, so I'll uh, do the mid game setup between turns. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, and we are. Uh, done with the mid-game setup, so we have the colon locations, we have Fort de Lesse, uh, Fort Davis and Gatum blocks, and we have the colon, so ambush in the canal. So as you disembark at the colon port, you catch a glimpse of something moving in the bay, several of the repulsive fish creatures allied, allied with the cultists you freeze and scrutinize their movement. Movement as they glide upriver. Your arrival surprised the cult's agents here in Panama, but they must be preparing some treachery for you for further up the docks. Pause. Flip this card and move it to Gatum Locks. Okay, just checking. So we get cult ambushers. Uh, three fight, three health, three uh, evade. Humanoid cult is elite massive. While there are clues on gate and blocks, the cult ambusher cannot be damaged. Force after you defeat cult is cult ambusher. Remove that. Remember that you have solved the colon problem. Okay, so we spawn it over here. Okay. Then we'll do the start of the round. So, Mythos phase. So, we add Doom, 
and counter block to this round is around every corner test agility 3 if you fail the nearest conspirator enemy moves directly in your location uh, to your location and makes an immediate attack against you if there are no conspirator enemies in place that's encounter they can disturb all for one and spawn it engage with you if there is a countermeasure treachery in play that makes you matches your class you cannot commit cards to this test okay i'm um really want to pass this so I don't have to do that. I'll commit Bycliff's Ring and uh, Burning the Midnight Oil. I want to save the gumption for something else. So we are testing 5 versus 3 minus 2 so we pass so we don't have to do that. That's good. Okay. Let's see, so I think first action will be to go to here, four shroud, uh, one clue, uh, action parlay, test, uh, will, power, or intellect three. This test gets plus one difficulty for each clue on four less less If you succeed, cult ambassadors cannot make attacks of opportunity for the remainder of the scenario. Group limit once per game. Okay, I think that will help us. And there's one clue here, which we will try to get, so second action in this investigate. I am investigating 5 versus 4, and uh, I think I'll use one of the lockpicks. So, uh, 5 versus 2. Tablet is minus 2. This test, if this test fails, discard a card from your hand at random. But we succeed, so we get the clue. And we get... Oh yeah, uh, we placed one evidence on this guy when it ended play, but... We don't get it because it's not at our location, but we'll still get one evidence on to Hawkeye for the camera. Uh, last action, I will do the parlay here, and I'll use intellect and use the gumption. So we reduce the difficulty by two. We are testing five versus one. Elder sign, we get to place one evidence on a card we control. I'll choose to put it on the whole cover camera to get some willpower. And that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions. We will go to upkeep. We ready up. We draw Idol of Xanatos and gain a resource. Then we have to discard the top three cards. So we discard uh, winging it. Which is good. Gumption is not good. And sharp vision we could have used. Oh well, it is what it is. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and Count Guard. For this round is Deep One Raider. Hunter, Prey, Lowest, uh, Agility, Force. After Deep One Raider is successfully evaded, move Deep One Raider to a connecting location and if possible. So it spawns on us, unfortunately. We have to deal with it. I think we can evade it and run away. Okay, let's mark it with that one. So it is engaged with us. First action, we will evade it. Oh yeah, we spawn uh, uh, evidence on it. Okay, so we evade uh, 3 versus 1. Skull is a minus 2, we evade. So, just put it over here. Second action will move here. Third action will go to Fort Davis. 
we're wasting a lot of time here, but it is what it is. So three shroud, one clue, action parlay test, uh, intellect or willpower three or other way around. This test gets um, plus one difficulty for each clue on uh, for Davis. If you succeed, reduce cult ambitious maximum health by one per investigator for the remainder of the scenario. So it would be only two. So I think we want to do that next round. Okay, and this actually moved here when we evaded. Okay, so we'll go. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep that readies. Uh, we draw Dr. William T. Nelson and gain a resource. And we have to discard the top three cards of our deck. Okay, unfortunately, occult invocation would have been ideal to defeat the cult ambushers. But it is what it is. Okay, well, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, uh, three of seven, and count card is unfamiliar territory. That's will power three. If you fail, take one horror. If you fail by two or more, also place one of your clues on the location. Uh, we'll commit this uh, Idol of Xanatos to the test. Uh, we have plus one from here, so we are testing four versus three. So we fail by two because we drew a skull, so we take one more. Not good. But we don't lose a clue, which is good. Uh, we will investigate, and uh, I'm actually first action. I'll play Dr. William T. Nelson. Second action, we'll investigate. I am investigating uh, six versus three. It is a minus two, so we succeed. We'll grab this clue. And uh, this is really, really annoying, so let's check if we can get rid of it. So, uh, we'll power 5, this test gets minus 1 difficulty for e every 5 cards. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have minus 3 to it. I'll test it. So, last action, we'll try to get rid of that. It is an elder sign, so we pass, we get rid of it, and we get to place one uh, evidence. Oh yeah, uh, I'll place it here and one here when we got the clue. Okay. Enemy actions, this guy hunts over here, engages us and hits us for one damage and one horror. I'll put them on, uh, on here. We'll go to upkeep, we draw Day of Reckoning. Okay, so... Attach the current agenda, so no more Elder Signs for the rest of the game. That sucks, so where is the Elder Sign? And we get a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom four of seven and counter card for this round is hidden needle test agility three. If you fail, take one damage. If you fail by two or more, also lose one action. Okay, we are testing. We don't have any cards in hand, so we're testing. Uh, I'm using one, one evidence to make it minus two. We are testing uh, three versus one. It is a zero, so we pass. No damage. Okay, first action, evade. One 
minus two, we succeed. So this guy moves over here. Second action. We'll do the parlay test here. Uh, we are testing a five versus three. Uh, minus two, because there's only four doom, so minus two we succeed. So now this guy has minus one health. Last action. Uh, I'll draw a card. Persuasion. Uh, it doesn't help us to deal with the elite, but next round we'll move. Uh, hit and hit, and hopefully defeat it. So that is that round. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw research notes and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. I think we might run out of time here, but uh, we'll see. Unfamiliar territory test. Will about three if you fail, take one or if you fail, but two or more. Uh, uh, okay. I'm just dropping one of my clues here with uh, Dr. William T. Nelson. I'll draw another card and see which one I want to pick. Okay, <laughs> we were not taking that enemy. Okay, so we're uh, sticking on uh, testing this uh, three versus three. And uh, we fail by two, so we drop one of our clues to this location. It doesn't matter. And we take one horror. Okay, um, let's see, first action, we'll move over to gate and locks. Uh, it is a two shroud location with two clues. Okay, we can automatically evade if we get this. So, get them locks, get plus two shroud while there are ready enemies at it. So, it is a shroud of four. Uh, we are just investigating six versus seven versus four. Zero. We grab a clue, and this, uh, remember, because of this, this doesn't make attack of opportunities. We'll uh, immediately spend it to exo uh, evade this. Then we will uh, investigate again. And I'm actually using the lock picks now. So it is a zero. Yeah, so we get this clue, and that is our turn. Enemy face, this guy hunts over here, engages us and hits us for one damage and one horror. Okay. We are not looking good at the moment, so... We'll see if we can wriggle out of this situation, so deduction and resource, this readies, and uh, yeah, uh, we also got one evidence when we clear this location. Okay, well, and uh, we got this evidence too on the Daryl's code because we got clues from the location that guy was in. Okay, so that was that round, oh yeah, and this gets discarded. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We are at 6 doom, so we need to defeat this guy and just move. So now we can uh, damage this guy. 
So let's see, we added the Doom, we get an encounter card. Closing the net, hidden peril, secretly at discarding your hand. Uh, when an act would advance, reveal closing the net, take a total of 3 direct damage or 3 di direct or or any, com any combination thereof and discard closing the net. Ouch. Okay, well, first action, we will. We are not dropping our clues because we need to defeat this guy and move to harbor side this turn. Uh, first action, we will uh, hit and use one evidence to lower the difficulty to one. So we are uh, uh, two versus one. So we need to pass both of these tests to have a fighting chance to continue this uh, scenario. Okay, minus one. One damage. And we need to do that one more time. It is a skull. Well, I think that is the end of this scenario, but I will try again. Hopefully we can... Okay, so the last hit is a zero, so... This guy is defeated and goes into the victory display. That doesn't help us. Now we have uh, the enemy face, so this guy hits us for one damage and one more. And upkeep, so we get sh sharp vision and gain a resource. That is that round, let's go to the next round. So we add a doom and unfortunately agenda advances, so the net closes. The sound of approaching footsteps fades in as you rush down the side street from behind, beside and even in front of you, men in dark suits advance from the sh shadows. You try to defend yourself, but with their numbers the agents rapidly overwhelm you. Each investigator is defeated and suffers one Physical or one mental trauma? I'll pick the mental trauma. Your choice. Okay, well, that didn't go quite as I planned. Well, at least we get this victory point also. We'll see. Uh, we'll read the resolution. If no, no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Defeated investigator, read investigator, defeat first. The relentless agents of Cthulhu pursue you at each port, always lurking and always ready to strike from the crowds or shadows. You barely manage to hold yourself together and escape your pursuers, but the endeavor has taxed you, your mind and body considerably, and has forced you to miss your connection. You find a place to hide and lie that low, uh, but the delay costs you a nearly Cost you nearly a week in finding another chance to set sail for Singapore. Each investigator who was defeated must add a set-aside copy of Lingering Fatigue to his or her deck. That card does not count once that towards that investigator's deck size. So we'll uh, read that in a moment. If a resolution was reached, go to that resolution, otherwise go to resolution 1. Uh, each in defeated investigator should result and defeat, investigate their defeat first. Regrettably, neither you nor your allies were able to keep pace with your original schedule. As you uh, bide your time until the next ship arrives, you wonder just how much the Meso Masonic traders and their cult allies will be able to press this advantage. Any minute lost could mean the difference between victory and doom, but until you arrive in Singapore, you must grapple with your doubts and fears patiently. In your camp log, record that the investigators were severely delayed. Remove one notice from your camp log for each card remaining in the act deck. So there's one, two, three. So we remove three notice. So we're down to seven. Consult the following chart and add a chaos token to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign based on the difficulty level and the current act when the game ended. So we were at act 2 and we are play playing on standard so uh, we add a minus 6 
into the bag. So that's that's painful. I skip the resolution tree. It seems as though the whole world had considered to stop your journey, but it is an encouraging fact in one regard. You must pose a re very real threat to the cult's plan if they take every opportunity to delay you. What isn't clear to you, however, is why the cultists chose Singapore as their rallying point. Where, where is their ultimate destination and why do they need to be there exactly? Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. So we got uh, one, two, three experience. So not that much, but it is what it is. If any investigator earned three or more experience during this scenario, mark one now this in your camp So we're back to eight. Uh, we didn't earn six or more. So we will proceed to scenario 6, Blood from Stones. Let's quickly look at the weakness we got. So, Lingering Fatigue. Revelation, put Lingering Fatigue into play in your threat area force. When one of your cards would be removed from the game by a scenario card effect, take one damage or one horror. Choose one. Double action, discard Lingering Fatigue. Okay, well, mm, that didn't go that well. Uh, we only got to the first port and unfortunately even though we got the um, story card defeated we were delayed enough that we didn't get to the harbor which would have uh, resulted that we would have uh, a new set of seven uh, doom to go through in the next port but it is what it is and these things happen but we'll uh, soldier on and see what the next scenario brings so that was across dreadful waters with daryl simmons so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time